Good, right, we'll move on, shall we? <laughs> My girlfriend said she wanted me to tease her. I said, all right, fatty. I was doing a gig a couple of weeks ago. I got talking to a girl in the front row. I asked her her name. She said, it's Pataka. I said, that's an unusual name. You don't hear that every day. To which she replied, actually, I do. <laughs> My girlfriend said to me, she said, Jimmy, we're at a crossroads in our relationship. And down one road is hard work and commitment but ultimately, happiness. And down the other road, well, the other road is a dead end. And I said, that's not a crossroads, that's a T-junction. <laughs> well, I'm glad you laughed, she went crazy. <laughs> if we're all God's children, what's so special about Jesus? Of course, you may be wondering about my accent. Of course, technically, I don't have an accent. I'm from England. <laughs> this is just how things sound when they're pronounced properly. <laughs> I bought my girlfriend a book called Cheap and Easy Vegetarian Cooking which is ideal for her because not only is she a vegetarian, <laughs> they say travel broadens the mind, except with Americans, where it tends to widen the arse. <laughs> but don't get the wrong idea, I've got nothing against Americans. It's just one came up to me after a show a couple of weeks ago and said he thought I was patronizing. I said, well, I think you'll find that's pronounced patronizing. <laughs> it means when you talk down to someone. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not being condescending. I'm far too busy thinking about important things you wouldn't understand. Did you know you're eight times more likely to get mugged in Montreal than you are in New York City? It's because you don't live in New York City. <laughs> boxers, boxers don't have sex before a fight. Do you know why that is? They don't fancy each other. The reason old men use Viagra is not because they're impotent. It's because old women are so very ugly. <laughs> Watching sex on telly with mum and dad, that's embarrassing. I didn't even know they knew how to use the camcorder. My girlfriend's always saying to me, you never tell me how much you love me. I don't want to upset her. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I failed to perform sexually. I know it'll come as a shock. I don't want to go into details, but suffice to say, I arrived early. And my girlfriend said to me, don't worry, that happens to a lot of guys. I said, well, there's two things the matter with that. One, who are these a lot of guys? And two, if it's happening to more than one of us, don't you think it could be your fault? When it comes to charity, a lot of people will stop at nothing. A woman stopped me on the street the other day with a clipboard. She said, could you spare a few minutes for cancer research? I said, all right, but we're not going to get much done. <laughs> a 
I saw one of those charity appeals in the newspaper. It read, little Zuki has to walk 15 miles every day just to fetch water. And I couldn't help thinking, she should move. I'm going to have to go now, ladies and gentlemen, but I would like to leave you with this frightening fact, if I may. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but if you took all the money that we in the West spend on food in one week, you could feed the third world for one year. Now, I don't know about you good people, but I can't help feeling we're being overcharged for our groceries. <laughs> I've been Jimmy Carr. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> People with Tourette's. <laughs> what makes them tick? <laughs> that was originally about suicide bombers. I've toned it down for you. 